Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. We're doing, we're talking about solar some more and I'm sorry about that. I don't mean to keep talking about solar, but I know how important it is to so many of you and how intimidating it is. So if you're an expert and you know all about solar, I'm afraid this video doesn't have a lot to offer you, but there's so many people who are intimidated that I keep looking for an easy, simple, and cheap solution. This video isn't cheap, but it is easy and simple. Probably the easiest and simplest of all. This should be the new uh, 500, Explorer 500 by Jackery. This is 500 watt hours and to find what convert watts into amps, it's super simple. You just divide it by volts and this is a 12 volt battery. So you divide 500 by 12 and this is about 43 amp hours of battery. So that's what I want you to understand. This has a 43 amp hour battery. It costs uh, uh, $500. So this is the charging, very good. Nice setup. So uh, if you can zoom in on that, this is the, uh, you can charge it right off your cigarette lighter plug while you're driving. That's a very good thing. That's, that's definitely something you want. And you can also charge it right off of your 110 if you're, if you're in a house or staying with your friend or family or in an RV park, you can plug it right in and charge it. And so it has those two kinds of chargers built right in. Um, and oh, and this is, the, uh, this is how you would charge, uh, plug it into the wall. This is the brick that goes in the wall. So uh, that goes into the wall and this unit goes into the uh, Explorer 500 by Jackery. So these are in there, nice, and this is all really good quality stuff. Um, so there's a two for, you have to charge the battery. The big question is how are you gonna recharge the battery? And so they've given you two really good methods there. Oh, and it's not nearly as big as it looked. For having that big a battery, that's actually pretty small and light. So here's the unit. And, um, Really nice system, so it has a cigarette lighter plug, and then you have a one 110 volt, 500 watt uh, outlet, and then you have five uh, two amp, 2.4 amp USB, so that's very good. And uh, this is the input, so um, if you were charging off of your battery, you're charging off of, uh, your vehicle while you're driving, you would just plug this into here, and then this would go right into your cigarette lighter while you're driving down the road, and while you're driving down the road, you're charging your battery. And that would be the same thing. It's the exact same plug for the 110 charge. So you can charge it right off your, your the wall at your home. You would just plug this in here, this would go into any wall outlet in, at an RV park or your house or a friend's house. And then it's the exact same plug-in and it goes right here and you charge while you're uh, at home or in an RV park or of course while you're driving. Now, the big thing is what you really want to do is charge it off of solar. And they make a solar panel that works exactly with this. That's the plan that you buy these and they work together. They sent me one of those two. They sent me a 100, 100 watt uh, solar panel. So it's gonna charge at about five amps an hour. So this is $350 and this is $500. So you're looking at $850 for a 100 watt system. But it is complete and it is a good high quality lithium battery. Uh, let's take this out of here. Boy, this, so this is, you know, we've been testing the uh, folding cloth solar panels and here's the man little manual for it and this is a nice one I've seen a bunch of these recently and this is a nice one so there's the panel very nice good quality grommets here on the corner which is important um, if you got some wind you'd want to be able to grommet that down and on the back here is uh, a stand so you can tilt it. Tilting gets you a tremendous amount of power and being able to tilt it, having a system whereby you can tilt it is a good thing. 
pull those out, set it down, and now you're tilted, tilted well. I think that's really, uh, most of them do not have that. I think we only had, of all the ones that we tested, only one had these things, and that's a very good thing. And then, now this doesn't have a controller because the controller is built into the jackery. So that jackery controller into this. The solar controller is built into here. It came when you bought this. This is how you connect the thing. Uh, right here, and I'm sure you're not going to be able to see that. If you zoom in as tight as you can, I don't think it'll be enough. Uh, this connector, I'll show you the connector that goes in there, but also has two USB ports. And that, what that means is you can have two USB devices plugged directly in while it's coming out and going into the Jackery. So if the Jackery were full, you could have something plugged into the Jackery or directly into the panel. So if you, even if you didn't buy the Jackery, if you just bought the panel, solar panel, you could still charge two devices, USB devices, while just directly off the panel. That's, that's a nice plus. And we'll get this thing out and, and charging. So right now I'm getting uh, none. I'm getting nine watts of input out of the solar panel, which of course is completely reasonable. So tomorrow we'll get this thing out and set it up in the full light of day and see what we get. Because it's, it's hungry and that will give us a good idea of how much power it will put in. And today we are going to make French bread pizza. You can see that. These are actually kind of one of my favorite of all the uh, pizzas, the frozen pizzas. I really like these. And we're going to test it in the um, Road Pro oven. This is the lunchbox oven. That's how I call it. May have an official name. I don't know. But we're going to test it in here. It just went in. I just turned it on. It takes a little bit to warm up. So it'll be a few minutes before it comes up to full speed. I think what I'll do, let me show you what I get going on in here. Let me get a little closer to it. So I put parchment paper in. How much of that can you see? And um, I put down parchment paper so that it wouldn't burn in there. And then just closed her up, latched it, and now we're going to wait and see, um, see what happens. Okay, so it's been 40 minutes. Let's check this thing, see how it's doing. The Jackery is down to 80% and it's still putting out 56 watts. Let's take a look. And uh, I think it's getting pretty close to done. What I discovered was that it gets done on the bottom long before it gets done on the top. I had forgotten that. Whoa, that's hot. Whoa, 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 whoa. And that one's done. <laughs> and this really, really did turn out really well. This got completely done. None of it's hard. Um, you see that's just a brown. That's a golden brown. It's not burned. The, the cheese is completely melted, the pepperoni is completely more thawed, heated. This is just about perfect. This so what are my final thoughts on the Jackery? First, the quality is fantastic. The options uh, that, that it has included in it are fantastic. I love its small size. I'll just say I love everything about this thing. The quality, the, the practicality. I love being able to just go out and sit at... Uh, at a table in the shade, uh, and I just, I kind of love the thing. The big reason, the big problem is it's expensive. This is $500 for uh, a 43 amp hour battery. And if you compare that to, um, to an AGM, well, you can get an AGM for $2 an amp hour. Uh, this at, at uh, works out to be $12.50 an amp hour. If you divide 500 watt hours, 518 watt hours by 12, it works out to be 43 amp hours. And if you divide a, a standard uh, marine battery, AGM, at 100 amp hours for $200, it works out to be $2 an amp hour. So it's $2 an amp hour for a AGM, and it's uh, $12.50 an amp hour for this. That seems like an enormous difference. 
But once you factor in all the advantages of, uh, of lithium, it starts to look pretty good. First, lithium will last twice as long. And so uh, that means it would come, that would bring the price of it per amp hour down in half. We're a whole lot closer at six dollars, a little over six dollars an hour for this at double the life as you are at a uh, AGM at half the life. So that really, if you factor that fact in, then you get real, it starts to look a lot better. One of the big questions you're going to have is, can I run a compressor fridge off this? And I do want to tell you, it's close. So let's say in the winter, in the summer when it runs the most, uh, I run my compressor fridge about six hours a day. And it's drawing five amps an hour, so it's drawing 30. Well, this has 43 amp hours. If you assume it's a cloudy day and no sun's coming in, you've got 43 amp hours. But you can only use 80%, and that brings you down to about 31. And so the compressor fridge is going to take just about all you have if you can't recharge it during the day. On a sunny day, then you're recharging it at, at uh, probably two or three amps an hour. And that's probably going to be enough to get you through on a sunny day in the summer. But on a cloudy day or an extended uh, number of cloudy days, you probably won't have enough. You might have not be able to run your compressor fridge. That's a pretty big disadvantage that I see. Okay, now let's talk about this solar panel. This solar uh, panel is $300. It, it, uh, that's a lot for a 100 watt solar panel. That's just too much. Uh, I, I just, I have a really, it's, it's super high quality. It should last you forever. But it's really hard for me to recommend a $300, 100 watt solar panel. Uh, you can get these in the folding complete kits for a little over 200. Uh, the problem is connecting it. How are you gonna connect? You go and buy some other so folding solar panel how are you going to connect it to the Jackery? The good news is that Jackery made this highly connectable. This plug-in is a uh, eight millimeter, and that's a fairly standard plug-in. You can find a, a cable with an MC4 on one end and an eight millimeter on the other. So if you have a panel, solar panel that with an MC4 cable connector, uh, you can plug it directly into this and you can not buy this one. Now, if you have the money, buy this one. It's perfect. It's designed for it. It's, it's super high quality. Buy this if you've got the money. If you don't, you do have options. But it's when you compare it to other uh, lithiums that it starts to look really, really good. Let me explain to you what I mean. So uh, let's compare it to a Battleborn 100 amp hour, which is about a thousand bucks retail. And so you're paying $10 an amp hour for that Battleborn battery. You're paying $12.50 an amp hour for this. That's more, of course, but look at the tiny practical size of this thing. Compare it to the size of a lithium. The 100 amp hour lithium is the size of this battery and bigger, so you don't get nearly the practicality. But this is the key thing. This has within it everything you need in one very small package. So example, uh, it has a 110 volt charger built in. You can plug it into a wall and charge it. It has a solar controller built in. You're gonna pay a lot of money if you just go buy a solar controller. It's inside there already. It has a 12 volt charger. You could just plug it into your cigarette lighter plug as you drive and you're charging. Um, and it comes with a 500 watt pure sine wave inverter, which peaks to a thousand. You add all those things in there, and this is a much better buy. I'm going to say this is a much better buy than just going and buying a Battleborn lithium. And it's hard to imagine. I think of this at 500 bucks, and I think that's just outrageous. But when you do all the math and you think all the factors through, it starts to look pretty darn good and pretty reasonably priced for all that you get.